prepare two filter papers measuring 4 cm by 14 cm. Draw a line across the paper 1.5 cm from the bottom and, and another line 1.5 cm from the upper end. Obtain three markers, black, green, and brown. Put Two millimeter dots evenly spaced along the bottom line. Label the respective marker letters below the dots. Roll each filter paper into a cylinder. Prepare two beakers, one for 70% ethanol and one for water. Add 70% ethanol solution into one beaker.
Then add water into the other. Make sure the solvent's volume does not exceed the bottom line of the Carefully place the filter paper into each beaker. Watch and wait as the component dies of the marker cleanly separate into different dye colors. Remove your filter paper when the solvent front reaches the upper line of the filter paper. The first question is, measure and rank these day's colors according to the distances they travel, shortest to longest distance. First is the alcohol. The black marker, the green marker, and the brown marker. The black marker traveled 30 mm, the green marker traveled 40 mm, and the brown marker traveled 50 mm. And the water, the black mar marker and the green marker, no movement. And the brown marker traveled 60 mm. The second question is, rank each dye colors from the least soluble to most soluble. First is in water. The black and the green are insoluble. And the, and the brown are most soluble. In alcohol, all the markers, black, green, and brown, are soluble. The third question is, why was it necessary to use pencil, not pen, when marking the filter papers? Because paper chromatography is a method used to separate the components of a mixture. For drawing the line at the base of the paper, pencil should be used and not pen. 
This is because the ink of the pen is made up of various dyes, coloring agent, and solvents. This interacts with the solvents which we use as mobile paste in chromatography resulting in separation of components of ink since as extra color bonds on our chromatography paper. Thus, the ink interferes with the results of the actual mixtures we want to separate.